A fan? Yeah. Of you. Of me personally? Yeah. You yeah. like me? Man. Hear that? Yeah. Everybody likes me. Yeah. No thanks. You work on your personality, you little snob. Wannabes. You gonna be here till three? I'm dying to. I won't tell him what I'm thinking since I'm on film. So what is God calling you to do with your life? To yell at people and judge them and teach them. And when I meet a nice guy or Doesn't a nice... Doesn't God t teach people to love? How many verses say love people? I love people a little bit. How? How are you loving By people preaching right now. now. No, and sometimes I'm nice to them. If I see somebody with a flat tire, I help them. I do you're good angry. works. Doesn't God say judge not? No. Lest no. you be judged. No. <laughs> Lest you be judged. I can quote. God is the judger. We are He's not angry. You haven't seen angry. You haven't seen me angry. You haven't seen this is angry. <laughs> you haven't seen anybody angry if you think I'm angry. I'm having a pretty good time out here. Do you not think here. that God is angry right now? Oh, God is angry. Not at you? Oh, I'm sure God gets angry at right us. Right now, though? Right now. Not right this not minute. Right now. Not this minute. But right. many times, because I'm not doing anything wrong right now. I'm his child. But if you're a heathen, and if you're living in sin, then God is, especially the Bible says, God is angry with the wicked every day. Right. I'm not wicked. How? Oh. What makes you less wicked than I? I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about you. Exactly. So I can't compare you, you to me. Why are you judging everybody? You're not. I don't judge you. everybody. Why are you yelling at me? Because it was such an untrue, unfair statement about me. It slightly pissed me off. Well, you judge me. You said to me that I am a sinner. You yelled at that boy that said you are the one who are not paying taxes. God hates you. God hates what you're doing. I didn't say God hates. Me. But I do You're believe God hates. That's God's judgment, not yours. At the end of the world, obviously God will decide who goes to heaven or hell. Right. But so Christians right now can why say, without Jesus, you're going to burn. I don't think you understand what love means. I think you're a victim of your culture that equates the love of God with weakness. I believe love is in our actions. <laughs> If you're going to love people, show them. Show them by, by doing I am. For them. I'm you showing them love by yelling at them. Are by you, judging them. Are you married, sir? No, why? You're going to try to do an ad hominem attack on me? I'm curious. I didn't know you're not. You're a liar. I know exactly why you asked that question as an ad hominem attack. And I won't tell you, you dirtbag, unless you're honest. I'm going to say no then. <coughs> Get on it. I don't care what you say. Okay, You're a so, dime a dozen so for people gonna, I meet. Gonna, You're nobody. Go You're dishonest. That's what you are. Because you won't tell me why you asked the question. And it's you know, an ad hominem attack. You have to ask, you it have to let me is an ad hominem attack. Can I, answer? I said why. Because I was wondering how you love people. If you have a wife, that just shows how you love them. Kim! Individually. I love in many ways. One of which is to yell and judge people. Being enlightened, actually. When I'm in a relationship, I don't think yelling solves any problems. Well, you ain't. She ain't into would the you, beat. Would you agree with me? Okay, here. She, she thinks she's going to grow up. Let me see. All right. Do I think that yelling solves... It depends on the relationship. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of relationships. Yeah, you shouldn't be yelling and screaming at But some... Some, yeah. yeah. I mean, you just gotta like... Guarantee! You gotta, yell, you gotta get yelled at. Guarantee! You're gonna do this. You're gonna do this to your husband. Guaranteed you're gonna yell at your kids being bad. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I've seen yelling... You still live in the little kitty world. You still live in the baby world. The big boy world is when your child opens the door to a stranger when your child steps Sir, in the middle of a busy finger, street. And I know you're not married. And I know that that's a hard thing. And you that's need an ad hominem attack. So what? <laughs> so why are you yelling at everybody? Maybe I don't remember yelling at you. I definitely haven't yelled at this guy. I haven't yelled at Frank you today. You yelled at me. Well, you're being bad. No, I'm not. I'm trying to have that's a conversation. an ad hominem attack. I'm trying to have a conversation. We'll try a little harder. Okay. What's your name, sir? Jeremiah. Hi. I'm Janelle. Janelle. Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Jeremiah. Janelle. And you're retired. Yeah. 
What did you do for a living? Did a lot of things. I, yeah. I have a retirement as a police officer and I'm on Social Security. Awesome. So, I'm, I'm kind of proud of Social Security. I just started getting it. Yeah, well, I'm starting my career, so. Yeah. No. You'll be lucky if it's still there. Uh, hopefully. But I made it. Oh my God. And I got my first check in March, so I haven't been on Social Security very long. How old are you? 62. 62. I feel young. <laughs> You are young. I You're am young. Up, up. I am. You are young. I'm learning about life, and that's awesome. But I'm feeling old sometimes, but sometimes I feel young. <laughs>